What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. Today we're checking out the neighborhood that's called Sarria, and I don't spend too much time here, so I got my buddy Miguel with me today, who actually grew up here, even though his dad is from Ohio. He grew up here, lived here, so he's gonna help us out and show us a little bit more of Sarria. Sure. Thanks for coming. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So, where we are right now is in very much the top of Sarria, right? The main road. The idea was we're gonna get through the main street and make our way down for the one thing that anybody that comes to Sarria for, which are the best bravas in Barcelona. Bartomas. All right? Bartomas. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get into the church, which is St. Vincent Church. Just back over on this side. Get in here and then we're gonna head down the main road. So get another view just of the outside. You can see the facade right there. Got a little bit of noise from the street cleaners. We'll get in here and you can see back into the altar and everything and then back up top here you've got the organ and it was really interesting I was looking up just some things about the church is that St. Vincent is the same St. Vincent that if you've seen my video over in Roda the cathedral over there it's dedicated to the same saint who spoke for the Bishop Valerius when he had a speech impediment and was punished in the fourth century by the Roman Emperor Diocletian. And so St. Vincent was killed for his crimes of speaking for Christianity. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> open a book, Miguel, open a book. <laughs> but the church, <laughs> the church is, got a plaque right here from 987, is when they say that was the first time that they actually have um, documented evidence from the church. And so like I said, I've read some things, but I don't spend too much time here. So Miguel is going to show us a little bit more of what we got going on here. But realistically, Sarria, very much like Gracia, was another city. It was a completely different city from Barcelona until 1921. So we're still going to see some things uh, from summer houses, from some of the people that had a lot of money back in those times, uh, and even little plazas with the old town hall. And that's where we're headed right now. Right. Yeah, exactly. So as Patrick said, it used to be a separate town from Barcelona. So what you're going to see over here in the square, we still have the old town hall from Sarria. It's the white building over here that we're going to see on the right. Got it right in there. You can see actually, let's step a little bit further out. So you can see that old town hall from when Sarria was a different, a different city. You can see even there's a date up top, 1896, right there. And now you've got the plaza kids playing around and everything. So what we'll do is we'll hop down on the main road and this is where if I ever come up to Sarria, this is where I spend a lot more of my time with all the different bars and restaurants. Actually met up with Miguel, what was it, a couple months ago? Yeah. We had a nice breakfast over at one of the bars. Yeah. Sarria, it's not well known for nightlife. It's not great for nightlife. Um, there's not many bars at night, but it has a lot of um, cafes, pastry, um, pastry shops, good restaurants. So it's great to visit during the day, I would say, especially. But uh, yeah, I, I actually like it that at night it's quiet. If you want to go out, you can go into town, other neighborhoods, Gracia, Raval. Um, but it's really nice during the day. 
Yeah, it's a much more residential place, right? It's much more where the people are going to live. And like I said, tourists, maybe not coming up here as much. Maybe if you're not going to Bartomas, where we're going to yeah. head in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but you get much more of that residential area, walking around into the neighborhoods. And it's actually the most expensive part of Barcelona. Yeah. One of the most. I mean, I think maybe Pedralbes is uh, definitely a bit more expensive. Or, but uh, yeah, I know definitely one of the most, I guess. But Pedrables is inside of of Sarria, right? Okay, a part of it. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's Sarria San Gervasi. Yeah, I guess it's the same district. So this is actually a really big area. We're just gonna stay on the main road, but this is a really big area in Barcelona. If you kind of look at a map, and like I said, the restaurant really, really famous. But other things that you would do if you came over here, you've got the Casmo Caixa uh, Science Museum. You've got a house by Gaudi, the Bellas Guard house uh, that Gaudi built out here. Um, I've been over to the tennis club where they have the Barcelona yeah, really nice. Open, El went to that. The uh, and those are the kind of the bigger things that you might do over in this area. But make sure you know you kind of see this main road with the different houses, the different shops as well, like Miguel was saying during the day probably a little bit better while all these shops are open. Something that's nice about Sarri as well, it's really close to Coiserola, the mountain of Coiserola. Just a 20, 15 minute walk and you're basically on the mountain, which is not a huge mountain, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's something nice as well. You have nature really close by. Yeah, and when you get into the Coiserola, that's the end of Barcelona, basically. Then you get into those different cities on the outside. Bar Monterrey. I mean, it's just like an old school bar, but uh, I used to come here all the time during school days for lunch sometimes. It's well known. So you got some of those more famous places here. And then this one. Yeah, of course. Foch. I mean, you know it. It's super well known. Pastry shop. It's kind of one of the most important shops in, in Sarria. You can see the, the date there. Founded 1886. And you will have all kinds of things. You have ice cream, all kinds of pastries, croissants, all kinds of things inside. Let's jump over here and see a little bit more of the idea of the inside. Looks pretty good. But this is maybe, you know, where you get some, some desserts or even a little pastry in the morning. Right over here. There's a very famous author, Catalan author, with the same last name. Was, his father is one that actually owned it. And they said that he would trade poems for pastries or croissants in the past but that's a really? yeah push. I didn't know that that's great it's a staple staple in uh, in Sarria uh, so this is yeah. this one over here is what I was telling Patrick before it's connected to the pastry shop and they have really good homemade food meals they have all okay. kinds of food. so you've got so they have like omelets made today that you can take away and then they have like cheeses um curate you know cured meats then over there they have all kinds of dishes like lentils chickpeas all kinds of things and this is yeah. this is more for food yeah? yeah for food this is for food and what's good is they have a menu del dia for 9.95 okay in euros you have uh, two courses bread um dessert and one drink so for 10 years you have a whole meal um, that's made every day. All right. So that's, if you've been over here before, something that I know Miguel will tell people a lot of times, but I'll also definitely recommend menus of the day. Like Miguel was just saying, especially if you can find them for under 10 euros. Yeah. All that food, first plate, second plate, dessert, drink, bread, under 10 euros, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. And so we're actually crossing through El Bartomas right now, which this is the most famous bar in Sarria, for sure. And this is where they have the best patatas bravas right here. You can see there's only a few tables outside. The inside, there's already a little bit of a line going, but we're gonna come back after we make our way down. We'll come back and we'll, we'll show you how those bravas look. Do you go a lot to Bartomas, Miguel? This, I mean, recently not much, but I, 
yeah, I, I do go quite a bit. But uh, but this year with coronavirus and everything, not that much. The Bravas are seriously s some of the best in Barcelona. Some of the best are the best. I think maybe the best, honestly. I mean, <laughs> like so far. I mean, I've tried really good Bravas in other parts of Barcelona, but I would have to say, yeah, I would say the best. What would you say? I mean, this is places that have really good Bravas, right? Oh, I. I always say, you can't go wrong with a good potato, but when I moved out here, I remember they told me, and I've seen papers that have, you know, had contests that have claimed it, right. that these are the best to go to, and they are really, really good, and it's the way they're made, you guys will see when we get in there, um, but more than anything, I think the one telltale for me has yeah. always been, you go to any bar and you can get patatas bravas, right? You can order them, whatever. This is the only bar still to this day that I've seen in 10 years that has its own station for patatas bravas and i haven't seen that anywhere else so when when we go in later you guys will see but there's a guy whose job all day is basically just to make bravas and so that tells you yeah they're pretty good and would you say i, mean, I think the sauce is one of the most i mean special i mean it's brava sauce but there's something definitely very special in the sauce the way they make it you know it's not like the usual Salsa Brava, where, you know, it's like a thousand bars do it the same way in Barcelona. I mean, the sauce here. Yeah. Definitely... It's a little spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, me too. So we basically made it down the main road to the bottom. Uh, and I'm hungry. So let's get back over there. Sure. Sound good? Yeah, sure. All right. See you inside. All right, so we are sitting outside. We ended up actually not having to wait in line. The line was actually just to get inside. I don't know why people were Spanish leaving. people are, are too cold. They yeah. don't want to sit outside. I don't know why they were not wanting to sit outside, but what we've done in about two minutes, we had everything ordered. Uh, got a nice little beer. Got a water. Got one with water. Yeah. And then we've got... The bravas. The patatas bravas. Give it a little taste. It's good to be back. Yep. Mm. Now, the thing is that for bravas, it's the way that they prepared the the potato, right? So it's a little it's a little fried, but they're very they're very soft. Yeah. Right? Yeah, these are very soft. Yeah. Definitely. And like you said before, with the uh, with the sauce, right? Yeah, the, the big sauce. thing with the sauce is that it's a different a different thing. What do you what do you, like, it's you know it better than I do? I think, I think it's more consistent, more consistent than other sauces that our restaurants make. I mean, I don't know the recipe they have, but and the flavor is really strong. I don't know. And it's it's got a little spice. Yeah, it's got a little spice as well. Yeah, which is something that Spanish people usually can't handle. You don't find too much spice. Yeah. In uh, in Barcelona in general. But these are so good. You can see what you do is you can order. Basically, you say, I want some bravas, right? They give you a portion for each person. If you yeah. come with four, they'd give you even four. Uh, and you can just keep ordering. You can just keep ordering. Usually, one isn't enough. Miguel was already talking about having a second. They didn't even bring our first plate. And what were you telling me about, um, about getting them to go? Oh, that you can get them to go as well if you if you come here but you don't have time and you want to take them to your to your hotel or the Airbnb or whatever if you just pass them by you if you if you live here, but you have to get two portions. So mm. I don't know. It's like uh, I think it's six years or something, and you get uh, and you get like a box uh, with uh, two full portions. So yeah, I've actually done that before. Uh, I've gotten them to go. You can get them in twos, and I, I even saw I think you could get them for th with three before for three yeah. people I got him to go once just because we didn't want to come all the way up here and go I just on the way down into the city uh, I got him to go uh, but either way yeah. have them here have them wherever best in the city so there you go we got a little look into Sarria thank you Miguel for thank you Patrick joining us yeah. and fun.
always, the best bravas in Barcelona, always a treat to get over to Bar Tomas, check it out. If you're in Barcelona and looking to come over to Sarria, you now know where to go, what to see. Make sure you're checking out some of my other videos. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to see other walks through different neighborhoods like Sarria, like some other places here in Barcelona. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you.